Hey guys, how's it going? VR Lads here. So, the gameplay trailer for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners has dropped. We are going to do a reaction to it now and we're going to break down the footage we've seen. Just going to take this time to ask you to hit that subscribe button. Let's do it. Let's not mess around. Oh, I know why you've come here. I know what you're looking for. All right, so just breaking down that part first of all, guys. Graphically, it's looking all right. Can't fault there. You know, good lighting, good shadows. Yeah, well, not enough really footage to kind of make any two judgment of first of all, but uh, a good introduction. I know why you've come here. I know what you're looking for. Is it me or is that kind of like really freaky? Uh, I don't know if this is going to be part of the game as such as in something specific to do with the game uh, there's a school bus school buses have been seen throughout the walk in the universe obviously it is a post post apocalyptic world uh, i don't know if this is like say going to play part in it this 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 clown you know this bus maybe it's your home it, it's hard to tell let's continue with the footage but what i still have to ask tourist is who are you okay so as we know as anybody who's watched the walking dead uh, a, a theme throughout is morality m uh, moral questions you know putting the characters in position where they have to make certain choices that's been apparent throughout the games from the first uh walking dead game to the telltale game series all the way up to sort of, uh, you know, this one now looks like an ongoing theme, uh, which is going to be a case of asking kind of who you are. Obviously, with it being VR, it is more personal when you ask who the player is. So that should be interesting to see how they incorporate that. Also, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I don't think I would have expected anything less, to be honest, but just kind of some of the light in the, the you know, the, the actual post-apocalyptic feel all these kind of barricades and stuff here it does look like it could be set way within the already established apocalypse so i mean that might give us a hint as to when this is and also we might get a bump into other characters maybe from fear the walking dead or the actual walking dead universe like i believe you ran into glenn during the telltale game series but only time will tell with that one let's carry on with the footage but what I still have to ask, tourist, is who are you? Now that the dead live forever. Well, that's freaky. That's that's pretty cool. It kind of reminds me of the first time I seen a, a zombie in the Resident Evil sort of movies. Like I said, nothing really to take too much from here. Something that would imply maybe some form of cult over here. You know, candles. There are there have been some weird things in The Walking Dead. Just this game looks like it's going for that very similar feel as well. So that's that's a little bit exciting if you are a Walking Dead fan. That every scrap. Okay, so just quickly it looks it uses the term every scrap. Now if we look here, we got our inventory of materials. So this is going to have a lot to do with scavenging, maybe creating stuff as well. So it can kind of feel like the forest where you scavenge find stuff build things use that to survive you've also got this book here which has options as well um it, it once again looks great looks looks exactly as i would expect he's running a little bit of low on pretty much everything though which is uh, unfortunate for him that every scrap counts okay so every scrap counts so we've obviously got scrap. this bit Count. however this looks like your inventory so scavenge once again big part of living in a post-apocalyptic world i assume you're just gonna have to have your backpack put that into storage then within your backpack and maybe you can carry that with you or maybe you leave that at some form of home base that everybody's just in it for themselves okay so once again kind of interesting sort of short year of people um getting involved in the action taking down some zombies now 
I haven't followed much of the actual gameplay. I don't know if this is going to be a multiplayer experience, to like Arizona Sunshine, something like that. But they, this looks this looks absolutely fine. Looks great. This uh, backdrop and scenery. But I think the interesting part is to see how they're gonna. If you are gonna play with NPCs, if they're gonna be good NPCs, or if you're gonna play with humans, how that's gonna carry over to other games. So if you play a game and you're on a different checkpoint, for example, will you kind of continue on their checkpoint or yours? That'll be interesting. So it'd be good to see about what multiplayer aspect this game has. All right, now this is pretty cool. So it, it kind of suggests the way this guy's talking that there's going to be a lot more elements of choice, not with regards to maybe stories and what you do, but maybe where you go. So will you shoot from here? Um, you know, will you take out bad guys this way? That seems to be what this is heavily implying. Do you kill from afar? Or do you prefer it up close? Okay, so do you kill from afar? Do you kill from up close? So hopefully, yeah, like like I just mentioned, that you know the cho the choices within this game will be, you know, not only story related choices, but how you approach missions, and maybe that will have an effect on the overall story. That's exactly what I would expect from a Walking Dead game, as that's pretty much been a theme throughout the season since, well, since the first season, since Rick Grimes woke up in that hospital. Okay, I just gotta say that was pretty cool. Look, look at the blood splattered down there. The just that is it a glass shot or a makeshift shank or something? Just that's that's just awesome. And you've got a watch here, so perhaps this is going to be some kind of uh, navigation tool. Uh, you know, uh, maybe part of a map system or a way to just help you navigate. Maybe it'll just tell you the way to certain objectives. That would be really cool. Big world out there. Okay, so just touching upon this, we got this by here, which is looks like some looks. This looks like some form of climbing mechanic. Whether there'll be parts in the in the map you can climb automatically, or whether you can climb anything that makes sense, or so blade and sorcery style versus sort of like boneworks where you know you're kind of limited in boneworks to what you can climb but as long as it's a corner with blade and sorcery you can climb whatever you want so maybe it's following that path that would be really interesting to see it's a big world out there and this is a big world out there would imply that it is or potentially got some free roaming capabilities even down to this sort of map here. So it, this map would also imply to me, like I said, that there is some form of maybe free roam, uh, and maybe there's one area where you can kind of move around in freely, and the missions take place within that. That would be really interesting, and it's kind of what I would expect once again from a game like this. Let's carry on. There. And there's no. Okay, one thing I want to say. Wow, look at that. So you got some form of M16 machine gun, perhaps. A bow and arrow all makeshift though so that's made out of like pipes so this can obviously be part of the crafting some form of club is it or some knife some spike knife uh, a revolver a gun a small knife and a bigger knife a shotgun and a baseball bat now where we can cover that baseball bat in barbed wire that would be really cool but it looks like these are sort of makeshift crafting weapons so that's that's really cool that's uh, that's you know, that, that's a must-have for me in in a sort of game like this, where you'll have the kind of crafting, you know, from from stuff you find in the world. Now, it's no no same how far that goes at the moment, but with just these handful of things you can see, and there's an axe over there, that it is quite varied in what weapons you can use. On left to tell us what to do. So tell me, tourists. All right, that was so cool. Stab the zombie, shoot the two zombies. Excellent. So we're going to have the ability to deal wield, which is a must have. Okay, so just real quick. Look at this. 
So the bottle doesn't smash straight away and then the bottle smashes. So it does seem quite dynamic in how the, the, the items are going to kind of just not just break, but they're just going to snap and kind of, uh, you know, break down the more you hit them. And it looks like this is some form of healing system. So whether you'll have to pull a bandage out, out and wrap it around your arm in order to kind of heal yourself, very similar to like Metal Gear Solid Snake Eater. That's what this does suggest. But kind of just pointing out all these zombies as well look really, really sort of interesting. They look kind of all different. Um, a couple of the same ones. But this does excite me for the game. It does look like the zombies is the one thing that they're really focusing on. Someone else. Okay, so who are you? The question is asked once again. Uh, so it's going to ask you, who are you as a player? And this guy, this guy looks like it's, this is part of some form of story mission um, where I believe you, you may have the choice to do something. And that's what I get from this scene anyway. Let's see how this goes. Would have, there was no preventing her ex Do it already! Finish. Okay, so... This guy doesn't like that guy for some reason, and he wants me to shoot him. So this does confirm what we've known for quite some time anyway, that this is going to be largely uh, about choices and the choices that you make and whether or not you want to make them. Once again, asking, who are you? This the fucker! Please. Not here! Not like that! In him now! Well, guys, so that trailer has actually got me excited for The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. Available on the Valve, Oculus, the Vive, Windows Miss Reality. Out in just over a month on January 23rd, 2020. Wow. I am really excited, guys. Everything from start to finish has just got me absolutely pumped. I love the weapons. I love everything about this and how it looks so far. We're going to wait to see, wait and see how this fleshes out over time. But I've got to say, I am actually excited. What do you guys think, though? Do you, are you guys excited? I certainly am. Let me know in the comment section. Let me, let me know if you're looking forward to The Walking Dead, Saint and Sinners. My name is VR Lad. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.